Hello everybody, welcome back to another Breath of Greater Weight Minecraft tutorial video. And this is the fifth and final part of the TSSTT Calshot Tugboat interior. So, oh yeah, Eastland part one is out, apparently. So, I'll put a link to that in the description. I'll also make another video about it. I get, well, I haven't really seen the video yet, so. Um, so, I'll go ahead and get started with the interior here. So, we're working on the... Uh, superstructure and deck houses up here, and that's it. <laughs> so, I already have all the details of this deck in, and I have the uh, actual superstructure placed. So, we'll go down here, um, all these windows and doors are already placed. So you have four windows in the front, two doors either side, there and there. All the windows on the sides are done, and then the back, it's just... Double doors on the bigger parts, and then three windows in the back. That's just how Rich did it on his design. So we'll go to the doorways here on the sides, and we get our smooth quartz block and birch doors. So going from this spot here, bring this back by one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth, we'll place a set of double doors. And then we'll go kind of go out one block and make it a little wider. Now I'll place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, 24 more blocks. And that should connect up with that wall right there. And this just kind of creates a bit of a closed promenade here. So do all the same thing on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, get the two doors, and then the rest of the blocks here go all the way. Pen, what are you doing with the doors? Nope, that's not how they go. There is, so we'll bring these walls up now uh, to three blocks tall. Three, three blocks tall. And surprisingly, looking at the like single picture there is of these areas, there's surprisingly no windows. There's a door there, but I couldn't find any... Uh... <laughs> there was no windows on any of this part. So uh, that's a little interesting, but that's how it is. Let's all brought up to three blocks tall. Um, I guess, well, no, we gotta do the rest of the walls inside here first, and then we can put the roof on. However, before we do that, uh, for the closed promenade here, we'll just set all of the deck inside in this promenade to spruce planks, give it a bit more accurate color in here, because you know how I like my accuracy. So place of like spruce planks, and then those two and those two. So have spruce planks like that, and then there's also the trap door that sits underneath these windows here. This is just a little, like, bench or something. And that goes all the way up to the end of that window there. And then, final thing to do in here is there's a vent. So, on top of this bone block we placed last part, we can bring it up one block with a stair and then place an item frame on that. Just like that. Perfect. Everything is the same on this side. So, I'll set that to that. Set that to... No. Oh my! Um... Don't do that. Uh, don't do that either. Uh, also, fix the trap doors! And undo the end portals! There we go. Stop! There we go. You have to fix these trap doors. Oh my goodness. That scared me. Goodness. Now I'm stuck in the nether. Really, Pen? Really, Pen? Oh, pen. And Pen, Pen. Don't do that again. I just said don't do that again. And he did it again. Why? Stop doing that. I need to finish this. It's 
So place these trapdoors in here after being teleported to the end twice. No, no jungle isn't better. I will kick you. <laughs> One's up. It's your fault. So, anyway, uh, now really everywhere inside here. Well, now I get the walls placed first. So, actually get the benches placed first before any of that. So go ahead and get our strip spruce wood and spruce stairs and some spruce fence. And we'll basically leave a one block, no, two block gap from the staircases. And we'll build up. Well, we'll build up one layer of spruce, strip spruce wood. So you have two. Um, dang it. So I'll place our two spruce just if you would either side there and then we'll place four stairs behind that on either side of each set and then we'll place two more strips of wood and then four more stairs these are just some benches that can uh people can sit on and then really across these other walls you can place your four benches in the same spots as the middle ones. And then we'll bring this fence up on top of these stripped spruce wood. And then we'll also get some signs and gates and we'll place these on the sides of on sides of the benches there same thing over here just on the sides of the benches there we go and now pen would stop uh, so we'll go from the back end of these benches, and we'll place five more smooth cords in the middle like that. And then bring this wall back a block, and then place a door, just like that. And then bring it back another one, two, three, four, five blocks. And then we'll kind of go to the side and place a door there. And then place another quartz block, smooth quartz block, like that. And then this funnel casing you can also bring up to its proper height. Pen. Pen. You know what. I think that one actually would have been red. Look at my red concrete. There we go. That's where the funnel will sit. Pen. Yes. Okay, I guess that's fine for the moment. So go ahead and bring these walls up real quick. And this area behind the funnel here, well, no, in front of the funnel, this is actually the first class kitchen. The first class galley. And then behind it here are some uh, uh, lavatories. So, we'll first take out that middle window, place a wall down the middle, and then we'll kind of place three stalls towards this on either side. Like that, there we go. So, I'll bring these side walls up for the doors, and then these other walls here only bring up one other block. And then also place the doors there. Just like that. So, um, now that we have our area split off, everywhere in the seating area is just use a target block once again. So go ahead and replace all the floor in here with the target block. 
think I may begin using the, uh, using this tool here. So set, uh, target. Target. There we go. And then do the same thing along these hallways. And then down the middle. Oh my, pen. Pen. I will do it again. I will do it again. If I have to. I will do it again. I said the floor. And you just filled in the entire area. So, next up in this galley area, I'll just use smooth stone for the floor. For kind of like a kitchen floor. And then in the lavatory areas, I've just used, um, you know, the usual quartz and black concrete alternating pattern design thing. Pen! Yeah, I, yeah, I did it. Let me just make sure that's right, hold on. And... Yeah, okay, so that's good. So place all the quartz block in, and then put the black concrete the rest of these spaces. I'm gonna... There's the lantern. Fly through here again. So... Finish up the quartz in here. Like that. There we go. And now we can finish up the decorations. So we'll start in the galley, I suppose. Um, and I think I've just used the blast furnaces for this thing. Uh, I'm going to check. Um, yeah, I've just used blast furnaces, so blast furnace, get an iron trapdoor, wax exposed copper trapdoor, stone, polished andesite, cauldron, birch trapdoor, item frame, and a... Okay, pen. Pen. Trying to turn off my soundboard. It washed away a lever. Yep, soundboard is now off. How did? Also, what did I say about swearing in my videos? Can't do that. So place our ovens like that, and then place two pots inside there, and a little cauldron, like a little sink. The item frames are there and there, and then get a. It's a lever. And place it there for the uh, little sink. And then for the actual um, lavatories, which I tend to say with a weird accent sort of thing every single time. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and get, what is this? Quartz, no, quartz stairs, item frame, and tripwire hook. So go ahead and get that area done. So we got quartz stairs is the toilets in here. And then we got I think it's three. Yeah, three sinks there, item frames, and tripwire hooks. And 
like that. There we go. Um, so now, yeah, I guess just fill in your roof. So I'll do fill oak slab 300. And then I'll go ahead and grab the actual uh, polished diorite slabs. And I'll place these along the ceiling. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'll place these along the ceiling. That's right. They're going to be a little bit covering up your windows a little bit, but it'll, it just should be fine. It's only half a block, so... There's one promenade done. We're going to the other side now. Get along here. And get along here. And then along this row. Fortunately, it's not a very big ship. Get that area, and then inside all of this area, place the slabs once again. Uh, everywhere in here, um, I can probably just use the slash fill command. I can find the block to stand on. There we go. So do fill, polished, diorite slab, type top, uh, three hundred. That should have gotten. At least most of the area is done. So it will go around the supports for the uh, the benches. I gotta do it in the galley real quick. So out of there. And then in the lavatories. We'll add it around here. Then I gotta do it in the other lavatory. I can get through here, jeez. And up here. Nearly finished with another ship. Yay. So there's that area. And then we'll go ahead and grab some signs. And we'll actually label these areas. So this one here. This is the galley. As I said before. Not the galley. The galley. Galley. Not the galley. Not the galley. The galley. And then we have the men's lavatory here. I'll just put men. And then on the other side is women. So go ahead and put that. Wit. Women. There we go. And then one final bit for this area. Well. Yeah, so we'll grab our lanterns, and I'll actually add the lighting now. So in the promenades over here, I didn't do this on the prototype, but I'm going to do it now, is, I'd say every, start there, I'd say every, what, third, every fourth block? Let's see. Wait, Yeah, every fourth block, I'll go ahead and just add a lantern. Trying to stay in the middle of the ship here. Three, four, and one, two, three. There's one side of those lanterns done. Now I'll go ahead and do the other side. So we go add a lantern there, there, there. Yeah, there, and then four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then inside this area, we'll actually go ahead and get some. I'm actually gonna use glowstone. Well, yeah, we'll use glowstone. 
Um, I kind of add some like chandelier style lights in here rather than just simple lanterns. Give it a bit more of a first class looking design rather than just plain lanterns. I'm going to go ahead and land, add one there, add one there, and some on the sides here, I suppose, just to match that area back here, add one there, add one there. In the kitchen, you can probably add just a lantern in the middle, and then as well as the lavatories, we'll add these lanterns there. And then, finally, for the stack is uh, the lanterns. And come on in here. So there is that. Hold on. Uh, so now the last. Wait. Yeah, last little bit to do is the rest of the superstructure thing. Um, I'm just now realizing. Um, there's no staircase to get up to this deck <laughs> on this model. In real life, there was actually a staircase in the middle of here, which which Larry's did not add. If you can, you can add it if you want, I suppose. But I'll just leave it how it is. Um, and that staircase would take you up to this deck. So I'll basically go ahead and just copy and paste my details that I've added. So I'll go all the way up to here. Well, you know, no, I'll go down to here so you can kind of see the interior a bit better. And we'll go to there. And then I'll actually copy from... Like, there. So I'll stand on this block. Copy. And over here... I'll do paste, and now we have that deck in. So it's space. It's quite simple. Um, you basically have your deck house here, which well, kind of has this kind of a shape. I think there was actually another block there at the corners. So you basically take out these corner blocks and place a wall there next to where the stairs go up, and then you got. Your window and door placements are a little different from Richler's design. So you got three in the middle, and then you kind of got a door with two windows on the sides on either end here, like that. I did, did do a little, little, I did have deck plans for this deck house and the wheelhouse, so these window and door and furniture placements are accurate, in case you were wondering. So there's that, and then I've just added a couch in the back, bed, and a little table with a lantern on it for some lighting. This area is quite similar, so we got our door where the staircase is, and then there's a window across from the door, and then there's a window in the back. You got a bed, table with a lantern, and then a couch in the back. And that is that deck. And so, finally, bring the rest of this up and finish it up now. Um, if we go to, like, here... Go all the way up to the top of the funnel. And I think that should have still, still should have copied. Uh, paste. Come on, paste. Yeah, there we go. So we got all that put in. Um, so there's all the details added. And then up in the wheelhouse. Um, I'll kind of show you. So your windows, you have three windows in the front, but then on this, on either side, you have a window on the side there, instead of a door like Rich Larousse had it. You get one on the side, on this side you got a window, and then along the back you have two windows and a door placed like that, kind of just a bit of an alternating pattern sort of thing. So... Yeah. And then inside, 
um, here, so I'll just added a dark oak door. Inside, oh yeah, down here, in these areas, the floor is just the target block again. Forgot to mention that. Uh, but up here, the floor in the wheelhouse is just red terracotta. And then I've gone ahead and added kind of like the basic thing here. So you got, uh, I've just added a bamboo fence, a bamboo trap door on it. And then some andesite wall with some stone brick slabs on the sides to kind of look like those things. I forget what they're called. Not, not the telegrams that go to the engine room. They're uh, something else. You got the steering wheel, of course, and then the little platform. There. And that's it for the TSSTT cow shot interior. Cow shot tugboat interior. So you can go ahead and make your own changes if you want. Um, I guess one thing I will, I'll just do on this model since I'm going to remove it anyway. Um, this will get my oak stairs and I'll place the staircase in the middle. So you kind of just bring it down here, bring an oak slab forward, and then grab your stair block, oak stairs, and then bring that down. And you can either go, which with Richelers is kind of design where you place the blocks under, then two up like this. You could go with that. However, if I, if I made the exterior, what I would do is I would get um, some, I don't know, I'd just get some birch trap doors and just build them up like that. How I would usually place a staircase. So on the, that design, I'm not adding it, but this design, I am. Just a little staircase. Um, you could also add some stairs underneath the stairs to make it look a little better. If I go ahead and grab a stair piece, you could probably add some stairs like that. And that, nope, come on, that, there we go, it's kind of a staircase there, so you can get up to the next deck, um, there might have also been one in the back, but I'm not sure, so, yeah, also, if you, another change you, if you want to make it, is there was only a staircase on that side of this deck house, so, once again, since this one is just going to be removed, I'm just going to take out the staircase to show you that in real life it would have looked a bit more like that or so. You probably brought out another block like that. So there's kind of a more accurate design there. Of course, I've added my own kind of whistle ladder design for the funnel, different lifeboat design. Made a few changes, but that doesn't really affect. Oh, and uh, your propeller shafts and such. Don't forget those. So this is what the one, two, three, fourth block out. So one, two, three, fourth. Bring that forward, and then get these other blocks. I think Richler has used a bit of a different design, but this is kind of my design for the propellers. Come on, there we go. So you got some stairs there, and then place a stance on wall in the middle. That's one propeller done, and then I'll go ahead and grab my red terracotta again, do it on the other side. Uh, and this block here. So go ahead and finish that up, and then finally the rudder. Just to finish the rest of this up, so place the three brick walls. I know Rich Larry's went over all this in his tutorial. Just going over it again. In case you don't have it already. Still a little three by four. No, three by five rudder there you can add. So, yes, that is the Kalashot tugboat interior done. So, I kind of go ahead and take a look around in here. Look at what we've done. It's got the wheelhouse. Coming down here, you've got the, I, mean, I would assume this is kind of the captain's quarters here. And then this is perhaps an officer's quarters. And then if you go down the supposed staircase here, um, I go through this area and look inside these sitting areas and the galley. 
as well as the lavatory. There's not gonna bother going in. Um, you can walk around the front of the staircase. I go down the staircase, enjoy some more lounges, take a look at the um, wonderful anchor machinery. You can go go back down here, go through this lounge. And the oh, what's that called again? The little pantry closet thing. And then I go through the boiler rooms, big old boilers, take a look at the uh, coal bunkers, which you can add coal in once again if you want to, the big old condenser room, you can continue travel up these ladders, and finally reach the engine room, go down this ladder. Take a look at these triple expansion marine steam engines. Which look very nice. So, uh, and then finally, up back here, you can take a look inside the crew areas. Got the crew lounge and steering machinery. Got the crew's galley. Got the lavatory for the crew. I got the... I got the linen closet. Gotta make sure. Uh, engine. Yeah, engineer's cabin. Fireman's cabin. Um, another linen closet. So, gonna walk through back. Walk back through the rest of this ship. Kind of get out of it without breaking any blocks. So go up the staircase and come out here. So yeah, that is it for this whole ship, really. Um, I'll take a look at the, what the polls, what the the poll I voted, I posted the other day says. Um, last time I checked, the Evan Fitzgerald was winning. It's probably still winning, <laughs> uh, because of how popular of a ship that is. Um, I do have quite a bit more work to do on it though, so that will probably start. I don't even know when. Maybe next Sunday. And I'll do like a part of part of the Eminem Fitzgerald every well, every Sunday. Like I had for my ten to one. Um so I'll also be releasing SS France as usual every uh Tuesday and Friday. And then you'll get the addition of the Eminem Fitzgerald in there. So Yes. Oh, and another detail I didn't show you uh, was in your funnel uh, when Rich built it. I gotta take out this water now. When Rich built the funnel, like this, he had some extra blocks in the corner there. And there, you can just take those out. You don't need those. So, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. So, um, Bye for now.